Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's revolving door of staffers suggests something is wrong. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's chief of staff's shocking departure after just three months on the job has raised questions about what's happening behind closed doors. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex hired Josh Kettler, a seasoned public relations professional, shortly before their three-day trip to Nigeria in May. However, it was revealed earlier this week that Kettler was no longer on the Sussex payroll. Now, Royal broadcaster and photographer Helena Chard has suggested that something is wrong in the Sussex Circle due to the revolving door of staffers coming and going in recent months. A revolving door of staff seems to be the norm for Harry and Meghan, Chard told Fox News. Eighteen members of their staff have departed their team. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Sometimes introducing new staff to a team can keep ideas alive, but this is an unusually high turnover of staff and highlights that something is wrong, she added. Kettler left his post after he was hired on a trial basis, with his abrupt departure mutual after both parties believed he was not suitable for the role, the post has learned. The Santa Barbara resident was employed to guide Prince Harry through his next phase and accompanied the father of two, 39, on his blink-and-you'll-miss-it trip to London in May. Kettler was due to accompany Harry and the suit's alum, 43, to meetings with youth leaders off the back of the duo's anti-online bullying campaign. A former staffer has since claimed that the exec who describes himself as an experienced executive accelerator, organizer, and confident on his LinkedIn profile was glad to get out of the work commitment. With his resignation, Kettler became the sixth staff member to leave the Archul team since they established their organization in 2020, which followed their sudden retirement from life as royals. That number does not include the recent exit of Invictus Games CEO Harry Reid, a pal of the prince who left the non-profit after 10 years, calling it the right time. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have touched down in Colombia. The couple arrived Thursday for a four-day visit, which some are calling their second quasi-royal tour because the visit resembles an official royal tour despite the couple stepping down from their roles as senior royals in 2020. Meghan and Harry's trip comes three days after their chief of staff, Josh Kettler, left his post after only three months. Kettler was on the couple's payroll only on a trial basis. Parting ways was said to be a mutual decision. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex travelled to Colombia after accepting an invitation from the country's Vice President, Francia Marquez. Speaking at the event, Marquez said she was inspired to invite the couple after watching their Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. Markle gave the Vice President and her partner, Uni Pinillo, a personal gift before having an intimate tea and coffee hour at her residence. During the reception, Marquez told Meghan of her personal admiration for Harry's mother, the late Diana, Princess of Wales, according to Harper's Bazaar. The outlet, favoured by the Sussexes, is accompanying them on their trip. Marquez told the royals that she shares their desire to build a better, safer digital future and mental health landscape for children and the world. Harper's also reported. She echoed that sentiment when speaking to reporters, saying the purpose of the visit is to build bridges and open doors in order to tackle the problem of cyberbullying and discrimination online, particularly for young people. Meghan and Harry have been vocal in expressing their concern about cyberbullying, and Meghan has shared her own experience with online abuse. Marquez, Colombia's first black vice president, has been the victim of cyberbullying. Last year, a woman who called Marquez an ape was convicted of discrimination and harassment, illegal and punishable by up to three years in prison under Colombian law, per the AP. We wanted to invite Megan, an Afro-descendant woman, to participate in that meeting and share her experiences, Marquez said of their visit. Marquez added that the trip has been in the works for over a year and that she had hoped Meghan would visit Colombia for the International Afro-Descendant Women's Day on July 25, 2023.